put your hand up if you've got a to-do list as long as your arm and you're already mentally re-gifting that useless present you'll get from your secret Santa. Not to mention the impact all this rampant consumerism has on our planet. Because there are bigger issues at stake here than getting our Christmas shopping done. So whose responsibility is it? Everyone needs to get stuck in to really stopping, help stop this climate breakdown and climate emergency that we're facing. So it's not just up to the individuals, it's not just up to the communities who are doing incredible work on the ground to try and help stop climate breakdown, but it's up to the decision makers. The toy industry is worth a billion pounds to our economy and is where our kids learn to become consumers. So is there a way of balancing that? I'm now seeing companies with sustainability policies and practices going on within. This is, this is a topic that's, that's regular in conversations. It's not about the price of the toy exclusive anymore. It's not about the availability. It's not about the marketing. Sustainability is a key conversation in most buying considerations. But what if we did things completely differently? What if we didn't have mountains of wrapping paper and plastic toys that were only played with once? Caroline here has some brilliant tips for doing Christmas in an eco-friendly way, without being even slightly Scrooge-like. So I like to buy second-hand gifts, and so now we'll use a fabric bag instead of a paper. And you can reuse that every year? Exactly. So what about crackers? Because they're full of stuff that just ends up in the bin, aren't they? Exactly. So I'll get a tube that we don't need any more uh, item that can be used again, maybe some chocolate. Or the kids will decorate it however they want and write a joke and put that inside. And how about this for a brilliant present idea? Ready to bake Christmas cookie jars. They cost about £3 each to make and a couple of minutes to prepare. How do people react when they get these? They love it. They really love it. I get pictures of cookies sent to me. The people use them at Christmas Eve. It's a really nice activity to do at Christmas Eve. That's not a bad result for a minimal amount of effort. You're making things and it's personal and that's what Christmas is about, isn't it? It certainly is and even better, it won't cost the earth. Ruth Liptrot, 5 News.